so small intestine the next part is small intestine it has three parts the duodenum jejunum and ileum are the three major parts of the small intestine what is the function of the small intestine it separate the feed molecules and absorb the nutrients here the juice is present which is called as bile juice which is mixed with the feed and uh, the function of the bile juice is to emulsify the fat molecules so the bile juice which is present in the small intestine emulsifies the fat molecules different type of proteases comes from intestine that break down the small in peptides into amino acids another juice which is known as pancreatic juice which also contain the sucrase maltase and lactase and this juice convert them into glucose and other monosaccharides lipolytic enzyme present in the pancreatic juice help in the fat digestion similarly another enzyme which is known as nuclease is also for from the small intestine which help in the digestion of the nucleic acid the very next part is large intestine the large intestine is also consisting of three parts which is which is the cecum colon rectum this is the final place of the digestion here the water is absorbed but in cecum microbial fermentation is also occurred and at the end the remaining part of the feed forms the indigestible indigestible waste which is called as feces so it is the final part of the digestion or the final structure where the feces or the further digestion does not take place and the indigestible waste is formed which is known as feces here is the list of the end products of the nutrients in monogastric animals as long as the monogastric animals take the nutrients their end products may be predicted over here or can be seen over here end product the form into which a nutrient must be converted in order to be absorbed from digestive tract here is the list of the nutrients which are the carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins and the minerals what could be the end product of the carbohydrates in the monogastric animal mostly glucose or respective monosaccharides after the complete digestion of the carbohydrates in the monogastric animals the glucose will form similarly the proteins will convert into amino acids fats will convert into glycerol and fatty acids vitamins and uh, will convert into any soluble form similarly the minerals which are very important required in minute quantity vitamins and minerals required in minute quantity but are very essential for the proper functioning of the body so these both can be convert themselves into any soluble form structure in which uh, next is the umesum if we talk about the structure of the appearance of the umesum it is many polyps next is the umesum which is triostomic abomesum sorry abomesum which is triostomic so the rumen which is pouch like reticulum is honeycomb like umesum is many polyps and the abomesum is a triostomic rumen microbes there are three types of microbes present in the rumen bacteria protozoa and fungi these are the three microbes present in the rumen similarly the for the effective use of high fibrous di diets and as a result are frequently fed rations containing high levels of fibrous feeds what is the function of the bacteria bacteria are classified on the basis of substrate they attack in the rumen like cellulitic hemicellulitic pen pectinolytic 
माइलोलिटिक एंड यूरियल ऑफ फार्म्स अबाउट टू परसेंट ऑफ द ह्यूमन कंटेंट सिमिलरली इट कंट्रीब्यूट अबाउट फोर्टी परसेंट ऑफ द टोटल माइक्रोवेल पॉपुलेशन ह्यूमन वट इज द एनाटोमिकल पोजिशन ऑफ द ह्यूमन ह्यूमन इज एट द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ द एबडोमन एंड द ह्यूमन इज नॉट फंक्शनल एट बर्थ इट इज द वेट फॉर फर्मेंटेशन पेपी लाइफ प्रेजेंट इन साइड द ह्यूमन विच हेल्प इन द डाइजेशन वट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द ह्यूमन ह्यूमन मेन फंक्शन इज टू स्टोर द मटीरियल फीड मटीरियल सोक डैट मटीरियल एंड दैन टू फिजिकली मिक्स एंड ब्रेक डाउन डैट फीड मटीरियल फर्मेंटेशन एलिमिनेशन ऑफ द गैसेज बाई इरेप्टेशन दीज आर द ऑल्सो द फंक्शन ऑफ द ह्यूमन फर्मेंटेशन एलिमिनेशन ऑफ द गैसेज नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द स्मॉल इंडस्ट्राइन इज रेटिकुलम इट इज लोकेटेड नेक्स्ट टू द हार्ट इट कैचेज द मेटल एंड हार्डवेयर नो इंजाइम इज सीक्रेटेड ओवर हेयर इन द रेटिकुलम उमेजम Mesem is uh, containing many folds, and here again the no enzyme is involved. But it reduces the particle size and absorb some water. The next come is the the next is the abomasum, which is also called as true stomach. The stomach like monogastric. Here the HCl, which is known as the hydrochloric acid and mucin is present. Epsinogen, renin, and lipase enzymes are also present over here in the abomasum. Small intestine. Small intestine consists of duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Large intestine consists of cecum, colon, rectum. The lower gut functions similar as in the monogastric animals. Higher gut fermenters. This is the location of the rumen, abomasum, reticulum, and omasum. You can see the plies, many plies. The reticulum, which is present at the back side, abomasum, which is the true stomach, and the rumen, which is present at the front. Next is the rumen, which is present just after the heart. Reticulum, which is uh, honeycomb in appearance, which is just after the rumen. and the abomasum which is present after the or the at the lower side of the omasum and the other structures like the small intestine all the three structures like the duodenum jejunum and ileum the large intestine cecum colon and uh, rectum and the anus and the esophagus mouth salivary glands where the uh, food material is uh, soaked and this saliva is mixed so these all all the structures and their anatomical positions are also before you dear students and products of the nutrients in polygastric animals are volatile fatty acids ammonia may form methane does also form and the production of the carbon dioxide also occur but in the abomasum similar to those in the monogastric animals like the carbohydrate is going to convert into glucose similarly the proteins into amino acids and the lipids into fats etc so the end products in the abomasum and intestine would be just like the monogastric animals but in the rumen the volatile fatty acids ammonia methane and carbon dioxide may also form so that's all about today lecture If you are having any question you may ask in the comments thank you very much for today okay khuda hafiz